TV. When you say how old are you to get to read with kids. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. But before a dog is allowed to help a new reader, it has to pass a test of its own. Welcome today to the therapy dog evaluation. These dogs have 14 exercises to pass. Let's see if they can do it. These canine companions have big dreams of becoming service dogs one day, and they're trying to make those dreams come true. It's really exciting to come out, um, be able to help these people start a journey, because this is a whole new journey. And uh, it's going to open up all kinds of doors for them. Linda Bates has been evaluating therapy dogs for five years now. Her job is to make sure these animals can stay calm and obedient through any situation, especially when kids are involved. You can't just take a dog in off the street um, to do the, the therapy work. They need to pass uh, certain exercises to make sure they're a well-balanced, stable dog. Dogs of all different breeds, shapes, and sizes try their luck, hoping to impress Linda at the audition. My name is Ryan, and this is our Corgi, Bailey. This is Bailey's first time. She's just about a year old, and we wanted to try her out for the therapy dogs. This is Jersey. She's a three-year-old golden doodle. She loves kids. She loves to give kisses. She's awesome. This dog sounds awesome, but that doesn't mean she'll make it as a therapy dog. Linda's looking for very specific traits in a dog before she can give them a passing grade. And we're going to be looking for the things that a dog is pretty much born with. We want a, a gentle temperament, calm, outgoing, but um, not too excitable. And of course, obedience is crucial. It also has to have basic obedience. So you're going to see some basic obedience, which is the stuff you can train. And continue on. That's perfect. Let's see if these dogs can make the cut. We welcome you guys to the uh, testing today. We're going to see if your dogs have what it takes to be a therapy dog. So thank you, and we'll get started. The evaluation begins with simple obedience exercises. Sit. First, the dogs are asked to sit still while their owner shake Linda's hand. How are you doing, Ryan? It's very good to see you. Yes, it's really nice to meet you. How are you doing? Good. Can I pet your dog? Walking drills are one of the basics. That's a little too much pulling for what I'm looking for. Therapy dogs often end up doing their work at schools and hospitals, so they must remain calm in child-packed hallways and wheelchair-heavy corridors. What I'm looking for is that the dog can maneuver in tight spaces and in a crowded hallway um, and not create any problems jumping on the people they're walking by. But the dogs are expected to respect more than just people. This exercise ensures the dogs can walk past the plate of food without chowing down. And the reason why we do this is the dogs can't be picking anything up off the floor of a facility. It's also important for these dogs to keep their cool and stay calm amidst chaos. So what you guys I'm going to do, I'm going to make some noise in this bucket. Kids are going to run by. I'm just looking for your dog's reaction. They can react, but they need to collect themselves. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Linda's exercises include agitating the dogs and even rattling them. But these potential therapy dogs won't budge. It's a puppy! Oh, look at the puppy! Oh, look at the puppy! Oh, puppy! And with that, the test is over and the results are in. And we had a really good group out here today. Some of them made it, a couple of them didn't. But um, we've got some great dogs and they're going to bring a lot of smiles to a lot of people's faces. And just like that, a new group of therapy dogs is ushered in, and they can't wait to read with kids. I want the bark dogs to come to our school. Today was a great day for bark and for therapy dogs in general. Don't be shy. If you believe you have a special dog that can pass these tests, you should take a shot at bark. There's not enough therapy dogs out here. If you've got a dog at home that loves people, um, has basic obedience skills, bring them on out. Get them tested. Call me.